Every artist knows what it is and how it feels when you lose your mojo. It doesn't matter whether you're a writer, a tattoo artist or a dancer. We have all been there at least once. You're trying so hard and nothing works out. There are no ideas, no execution plans, no excitement in you. It sucks. I'm facing this evil several times a year. Some time ago on Instagram, a guy asked, how do I overcome this? And how do I manage not to burn out in general? Well, go grab a drink and let's talk about it. First thing you have to understand and accept is that it's all right, it's okay. You're not a machine and your energy levels may go down from time to time. In fact, the reason why I'm recording this video is because I faced creative block yesterday. I was working on my next tutorial for you guys and I got stuck on it. Luckily, there are things you can and you should do to get over it. First thing, stop doing whatever it is you're doing. If you're stuck, there is no point wasting your time and torturing you trying to squeeze something out of your head. Switch your attention to something else. Go for a walk, watch a movie, read a book, hang out with your family and friends. Do something completely different. Creative block doesn't mean you are a loser, it just means you need a break. This principle works with everything in life. If you would think of a red car, you would straight away start noticing red cars around you. Same with negativity. And when you're sitting there trying to fight your creative block, this is exactly what's happening, all right? It, it, it's only getting worse. Take a break, switch your focus to something else. This applies to particular occasions and your career in general. Don't overthink it. I know it all sounds great when I'm talking about it, but what if you're getting close to a deadline on a paid job? Depending on how close to the deadline you are, do the same. If your deadline is tomorrow and you feel like you're not progressing, take a break. Go grab a hot chocolate in Starbucks. When you will get back to work, you will feel that some energy got back to you. Last summer I had a 20 minutes documentary to do and because I was stacked with other projects, it got postponed till, till the last day. So imagine, I have a massive edit to do and client scheduled a premiere for tomorrow. They invited people, organized event, so it can't be postponed. I was panicking, but I kept working, stayed late, and by 11 p.m. I realized that I'm not even close to finishing this movie. I felt that I'm not moving anywhere. I stopped for a moment, made myself a coffee, called my wife, and this little break charged me, so I decided to stay for the whole night in studio. In the morning, my colleagues arrived, they helped me with music, I finished the movie by lunch, and uh, client showed the movie at 6. Everyone were happy, but it wouldn't happen if I would keep fighting that creative block and keep trying to deliver the movie, and if I wouldn't stay for a night, obviously. Sometimes you have to work in a hardcore mode. How do I manage not to burn out and keep going in general? Well, every time I'm stuck, I'm pretty confident and I have a strong belief that everything will work out. You might think other artists haven't failed and everything went buttery smooth in their career. Pfft, no, you just don't know about it. If you're failing a lot and something is not working out, don't stop. You're doing everything right. Fail, try again. Fail, try again. Fail, 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 try again. And it's exactly what I was doing over years. And it's like a rule to me now. It will work out. Keep trying. Apart from that, I truly love and enjoy what I'm doing. This is what I was doing for for almost half of my life. I love other artists' work. I love that every artwork is unique. Each and one of you are unique. Also, if you think there are too much photographers, cinematographers, designers, this is not true. Two reasons. First, even if it would be true, as I said, each and one of you are unique. Your vision and execution is unique. So there will always be a place for something new or something different. Second reason is psychological. I'll explain. I assume you're interested in visual effects and cinematography, right? So you're watching my video and probably are following me on social networks, right? If not, make sure to fix it. And you surely follow other artists like me, cinematographers, photographers, designers. So to sum it up, you're focusing on what you are interested in. You're surrounding yourself with it. On social networks, most of the posts are probably other artists' works. And this creates an 
illusion of overcrowded industry, but it's far from reality. There are 7 billion people on our planet. Do you think major part of them are artists? Of course not, that would be ridiculous. I dug out some statistics from US. As you might know, US population is 3300 million people and there are only 2.1 million artists in US, including self-employed freelancers. It's only 1.4%, guys. I left a link in the video description and you can go and find that data yourself. Anyway, my point is, even if that data is inaccurate, there are not that many artists out there. It's an illusion created by ourselves and it's di dictated by our interests. And it's absolutely fine. It makes perfect sense why I'm not interested in ballet, for, for instance. And it's obvious why ballet dan dancers are not interested in my content. But they are probably thinking that there are too many dancers in the world. It is important to remember that it's not true that industry is overcrowded. And don't be afraid of competition. Even though I clearly understand that, do you think I don't struggle? I do. And I know that there are much more experienced artists than me out there creating Hollywood movies, living the dream. Do I feel sh** about it? I don't. Because they inspire me. They pushing me forward. No, there are not too many artists out there. No, you do not suck. You grow. And no, your creative block is not permanent. It will go away faster than you think. Few other tips for you guys. Get inspired from other artists you're following. And don't ever think that you are worse or you are better than any someone else. There is no such thing in art, all right? Experience and skills are the things that dif differentiate you from others. As it's something you're in control of, you can't use an excuse that someone is better than you. Accept the challenge, get pumped, create something outstanding. Don't doubt yourself, guys. You're amazing.